I thought perhaps it was a slug, maybe a decomposing rug, or some huge condom clogged with clag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag, a mad bacteriologist's dream where Bell End Borsan reigns supreme. I'm <laughs> talking about the Epcot Burgers. <laughs> And even bedbugs puke and gag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. The outside festers. And within, the inside's grey as major skin. A quilted dustbin or a rag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. No laundrette has crossed its path. Folk vomit in its aftermath. There's notebooks and a railway mag in Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. A camel's foreskin. <laughs> by compare smells sweeter than the alpine air <laughs> I'll tell you this I'll never shag in Joseph Porter's <laughs> sleeping bag so we made him put it in the washing machine and I wrote a poem in solidarity with that washing machine <laughs> stung by these words so rudely bald a protax old machine it crawled it seemed too gruesome to be screened the day the sleeping bag was clean Industrial agent was fetched. The traumatised appliance wretched. Inside, a sewer slowly sloshed the day the sleeping bag was washed. A tidal wave of helmet breeze. Flowed <laughs> festering towards the sea. And in it, plague rats gaily preened. The day the sleeping bag was cleaned, the feeted futons foreskin fetter caused many an angry Greenpeace letter. First Axe and Valdez, now this, the day the hot point took the piss. And now the horrid thing is clean and lilac smelling and pristine. There's still no way I'd ever shag in Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. Cheers, <laughs> my